Welcome back, guys and girls, to Assassin's Creed Unity. It's been some time, but Arno is ready to commit some more anti-crimes, I guess. They're crimes against criminals. So, I think it's okay in the world. There's these old women that keep running through me. I just sit here and I can't even control it. They just keep coming every, like, six seconds. If we sit here, you'll watch and see. While we're watching, smash that like button. There's another one. If you want to see more uh, AC Unity, just keep hitting that like button. I'll keep bringing it your way. Um, we've got a pretty cool outfit, and I've got some sweet weapons. There was a DLC weapon pack that I decided to pick up. I've got my green gear on, and we're heading for a new mission. Let's pull up that map and see where we want to travel. Where is it? There are so many icons. As you can see, it's a bit hard to find the one I'm looking for. Hello? Mission icon? Um, Missions. Here we go. All right, so we'll put a the prophet, the grandmaster of the Paris right, is rallying his forces. Kill him and stop the attack. All right, Lafreniere, and we'll head our marker there and start moseying on that way. As we get close to Game of the Year discussions, uh, I start to think about where Assassin's Creed fits in and kind of where Assassin's Creed for next year um, and just the future of the franchise fits in. I don't think we talked about this last time, uh, that Assassin's Creed Victory has been sort of sneakily revealed, which is the next Assassin's Creed game after Unity, the mainline game for next gen, uh, in 2015 will be called or will be a, a Assassin's Creed game set in London. Um, and they showed off, apparently, a gameplay demo that looked pretty cool, running on the same engine, um, and it seemed to focus more on a little bit more cinematic-type gameplay. There was a fight on a train car, or a street car. Um, you entered a large train station and like could use a whip to kind of grapple around, so some new elements. Uh, but the real question is, why are they showing this new Assassin so early? I would have hoped that they would, you know, learn some lessons uh, from Unity for the next one so it could be like a true gem of a game. But it seems like this is a totally different team uh, working on this next Assassin's Creed, and so perhaps they have an entirely different vision. I don't know if we'll see any improvements or not then um, because it has been in development clearly if they're already showing gameplay that looks good. Uh, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below about the recurring AC franchise and if you're cool with them just popping them out like a very aggressive mother, um, bursting Assassin's Creed babies out every single year. It's starting to feel a little bit weird, and I wish they would take their time and deliver something amazing. What made the beginning of the Xbox 360 PS3 uh, generation so special is we got so many new franchises. Assassin's Creed 1, Mass Effect 1, Bioshock 1, Uncharted 1, Batman Arkham Asylum 1. Um, and now we're just getting sequels, Mirror's Edge 1. We're getting sequels to all of these games. Uh, that previously were, were new franchises, and they were so much more fun um, as new franchises, I feel. And sure, they, they saw improvement, like, you know, Bioshock Infinite was a great game, or Uncharted 2 was the, you know, to, to most people, the pinnacle of that series. Same with Assassin's Creed 2. Now that we're getting into 8s, 9s, 4s, 5s, it's like, do they really need to keep doing this, or should they refresh and start over with some new IP? I know that they won't do that, primarily because these, these series earn so much money, but anyways, just curious to know you guys' thoughts on that. Can I get out of here? No, I can't. Completed that mission already. I was just hoping I could wander my way through. Uh, but instead we'll just look at the dang dead hanging piggies. What is this? It's a magic chest and it's failing with connection. Alright, great. Didn't know you need the internet to open chests in France. That's something a little bit strange. But I want to complete this game for sure before the end of the year. Um, or as close to it as I can so I can add it into my Game of the Year uh, debates, which is always super fun. I don't think it's going to, by any stretch of the imagination, win Game of the Year, but I think it could make the top ten, provided how the story sort of plays out. And I, I say that because I like the co-op a lot. I think that's been a big surprise for me and something that I didn't expect to really be as fun as it is. It's kind of goofy at times. It maybe gets fun for its, uh, its comedic value, but it definitely has some value, that's for sure. Let's tackle this mission, though. And see what this one delivers for us. We're almost there. On top of this building, the Prophet. We're here, we're here. Let's begin this mission right about. Come on. Can we go? It's a high difficulty mission. I'm cool. I'm ready for it. I just gotta get up here. Here we go. Okay, cool. Play it! before the master arrives. We'll post snipers on the roofs. The instructions are all here. Get to it.
think we should go with them? No. The Masters of Eat Bodyguards? No. I think they can handle it. I suppose you're right. I'd better find myself a place to wait before the rest of them arrive. Bringing in snipers and the sort. We gotta assassinate Lafreniere. Explore the area, create opportunities. There's four entrances, five hiding spots, four alarm bells, and 42. Alrighty, lots of opportunities. Wait in a haystack. That seems like the ultimate objective, but then we have assistance opportunities, alarm bells to sabotage, infiltration opportunities. Hmm, there's an alarm bell right there. And no guards around it. Maybe we'll start there. Sometimes these are tough to tackle because you don't know which is going to be the most advantageous opportunity uh, to go after. And some of them even can trigger the mission progress when you least expect it. Um, there are no guards nearby, even though it said there were 42 of them overall, which is kind of freaking freaky. Um, I'm going to go get this bell, I think. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. Is this kind of like a boneyard of sorts? Sabotage it. Slice and dice. Come on. Let's get back up to the rooftops here. Alright, so there's assistance, infiltration, and then wait in a half sec. Yeah, there's like body parts and skeletons packed in here. This is the psycho creepy graveyard. Ugh, kind of giving me the creeps being around here. Um, infiltration is there. Where is assistance? I guess we'll walk the perimeter on the roofs and hope they don't see me. There's a lot of guards. Not sure I'm even going to get into that infiltration opportunity. Um, there's another bell there. I'm guessing there's one on the back side, yeah. Maybe we can fit. They're packing the bones into the roofs even. Oh my god, that's an attic I don't ever want to walk into. Creepy as can be. Um, there's a lot of dudes over here. That guy's just walking into the bell. He's like, I'm not going to let anyone touch it. I'll smother it with my own skin. They're on weird paths here. We're cool. I don't want to wait because I think waiting is going to, you know, end the mission basically. But I can get this alarm bell. I should be able to. Um, okay, the assistance opportunity is over there. Sabotage it. Okay, no one really heard that. Get down, buddy. Um. Okay. I guess I'll climb back up. It's probably the best idea. Sometimes their line of sight is a little bit tricky to tell, but I love when we get to sort of just be the puppeteer and sort of make work of an area how we see fit. Two bells down for that extra objective. Some tall tower climbing here. What is he? An assistance. Objective complete. Okay, I can infiltrate over there. Retrieve the plants. What is the assistance opportunity? There must be someone down below that we can like talk to or something. Anyways, I gotta go steal these plants as we climb this very steep chapel roof or whatever this is. Grave digger's house. Oh crap, no, no, no. Forget about me. Forget about me. No. Shush. Okay. Everyone forget about it. As long as the guy doesn't slide down the <laughs> Hopefully they don't see his body. Alright, I gotta retrieve those um thingamabobs. I do have a phantom blade. Although I can probably just get in for the, the drop kill on him, because there's nobody else really around here. Um, let's see. Okay. Quiet as Keep a... more men up on those walls. Make sure those gates are locked. <laughs> okay. This shows exactly where Lafreniere will be every step of the way. Cool. They couldn't have made it easier if they'd tried. Huh. What is that, a giant whale? Now. Look at that giant dead body. It's like a freaking... Eight foot tall man or something. All right, the other alarm bell is there. Why do I not have double assassination, by the way? Do I not have this? Um, that's under stealth, right? Double assassination. I should be able to get that easily. Anywho, um, we could buy a couple other things here. 
Money pouch, stun grenades. Mm, disguise. I like disguise. Let's get disguise. It's six points, but I got 15, so why not? Buy our disguise there. Um, and then... Is there anything new for health? Group healing, I don't really want that. Um, stun grenade sounds pretty fun. Let's do that. All right, and we'll save the other seven for something down the road. Okay. All right, it's so the third bell. I wonder if I'm gonna double assassinate on double assassination. I guess on there's only one guy now. What's down here? Hello. Probably not supposed to be down here. But it's kind of intriguing, isn't it? Ugh. <gasps> Maybe we can get that assistance opportunity through here. Think there's guys down here? <gasps> oh, there's a crap ton of guys. And now you can see the pathing because of my security map. Interesting. Alright, I better get the heck out of here before they spot me in this spooky underground maze. Reminds me kind of Dark Souls. Creepy. Okay. Um. Oh, gosh. I did not intend to pop out. Oh, maybe I did. Yes. I was like, did I intend to pop out here? I got really bright and light. You can see the path of everybody. Where they walk in circles. Where they do their dances. Um, okay. I got an idea. Less of an idea and more of what I know what I'm going to do. Climb up here. Make sure we don't run into any of those snipers anymore. Okay, so the bell. The bell is actually right here. Okay, so I'm actually cool to sabotage it right now. Don't even have to worry about those guys. We'll get back top sign. Now there's the assistant opportunity, and there should be one more bell. Where is it? I don't know what the assistant's opportunity really is, but I'll try and figure it out. I'm guessing the bell is there used to be a guy here. Not anymore. Alarm bell in this area. Where is it? There it is. I don't think there's anyone even around here. Okay, cool. Nobody even close by? All of those have been got. Cool. It's trying to really work these. I, I like to do these missions and make them as like masterpiece-esque as possible. Um, this assistance opportunity is in the middle, right? Yeah. Can I set a little marker on that? Okay, so can I if I run around the perimeter, can I just jump to that, you think? We'll try and figure it out. And then from there we'll wait in the haystack. And let Lafreniere come to us. Because we got his security plan and everything else. The alarm bell is in this area, but it's disabled right now. I wonder if I can just leap to that roof. We'll go over there and find out. I think this is where Unity is really its, its most successful. Not in the side missions, not in the story. But just in sort of these big open areas where you can take things down. And have to complete like the little mini objectives. I will say it's decently easy. Which kind of surprises me. Um, they're all meeting underneath. I haven't really ran into anything that tricky thus far. Defend the grave diggers, okay. All right, we'll finish these fools off, defend the gravediggers, and they will help us out then. Uh, stab. I got this new sword here. It's pretty sweet. Defend. Leg. Chop. And neck. Stab. Swap. Okay, let's go with this guy. Ow. Finish him off. Yes. Okay. Gravediggers, I've defended you. Just the right time. Yes. I'll gather up the others. We'll hold position here. Cover your escape if you need it. Sweet. Sounds good, Gravediggers. I've done everything I can do to make this an excellent 
assassination though. Let's head back top side. Um kinda get lost down here. Where the heck am I going? Hello? Oh cool, this is right where it was before, remember? We pop up here, and there should be a haystack nearby. So we can make uh make this mission move forward. Beautiful. Um, there's dudes. I think there's also a haystack back here. <laughs> Thought there were some guards back there. There were previously, but eh. Alright, we'll wait right here. Wait for the target. target comes to me. Take your talents to me, Mr. Lafreniere. <laughs> 